Welcome to the future of fashion, where technology means creativity. Today, we're diving into revolutionary 3D printing and how it's reshaping the landscape of the fashion industry. Welcome to MM Design or mm, Design. My name is Maria and this channel is all about fashion. It's all about trends. I usually create runway trend reports, but today I just decided to try something new, talk about new developments in the fashion industry. And if you like this kind of content, let me know down in the comments below. Traditionally, fashion design involved sketching, pattern making, and manual prototyping. But with 3D printing, we're stepping into the realm of limitless possibilities. So what is 3D printing? It is a process that creates 3D dimensional objects by layering materials based on digital models. Designers use specialized software to craft intricate 3D models, which are then brought to life layer by layer through a 3D printer. There are several different 3D printers in the industry today, like FDM and laser centering. FDM, or Focus Disposition Modeling, is the most common printer in the industry today. Works a lot like a hood glue gun that is operated by a computer. Solid material, known as a filament, goes into one end and gets pushed through a hot nozzle that melts it and then it gets deposited in a thin layer. This happens over and over again until a three-dimensional object is formed. We see this process in creation of textures on mesh fabric, like in Iris Van Herpen, designs making fabrics on their own using variety of printing methods. With evolution of the 3D printing, textiles will become more and more like the ones we wear daily. Filaments today already have different qualities like softness, elasticity, and color. Iris Van Herpen has been known to use 3D printing for a while now, aiding in out-of-this-world fashion creations and breaking the stereotype of machine-made versus handmade garments in the haute couture world and their perceived value in the eyes of the customer. Traditionally, the handmade has been seen as being about luxury, about superiority. It's also been seen as something that's elitist. Whereas the machine has been about progress in the future. And on the other side, it's been about mediocrity and dehumanization. I'm finding that those values don't really hold up. Sometimes a garment that's been machine made actually has more hours spent on it, is more luxurious than doing it by hand. Another 3D printing technique is a laser centering. It creates structures by shining a super strong laser on a thin layer of powder fusing the particles together to form a thin solidifying layer. Then a new layer of powder is placed over that structure and the process is repeated as many times as it takes to create the design. We can assume that this was used in Balenciaga in their haute couture show, creating the metallic armor gown. It's about clothing being some kind of armor. It's 3D printed, so technically it was quite a complex process, about 10 months now that we're working on it. In couture, it's not very obvious, but I believe that using modern technology in couture is also the way to, to evolve it and to make it more for now and more interesting and to discover the new possibilities. Furthermore, we can definitely see how this can also be applied in the world of jewelry and design. This technology has unlocked new dimensions in fashion Designers can now bring their imaginations to life. 3D printing allows us to experiment with complex geometries and structures that were previously impossible to achieve. The kinematic stress was created by design studio Nervous System in 2014. And this 3D printed dress set out to push the boundaries of what was possible in computational fashion. By weaving together thousands of interlocking components, the dress was printed out in one single fold piece. A piece which required no assembly at all. The advantages of the 3D printer is that we can digitize of the, all the patterns to produce only the necessary fabric. All of the process of the design, the production and the use of the garment is very sustainable because when the client don't want to use more the garment, they can return us and we can melt the garment and recreate the raw material 
another 3D printed filament. Indeed, sustainability is a driving force. By utilizing eco-friendly materials and reducing waste and printing on demand designs, 3D printing aligns with the fashion industry's growing emphasis on sustainability. Moreover, 3D printing has pushed the boundaries of avant-garde fashion. Designers can create truly unique and personalized pieces tailored to individual preferences and body shapes. The industry of 3D printing in fashion is inspiring a more diverse, inclusive industry from customized shoes to adaptive wear. It's technology that celebrates individuality. Not only 3D printing is sustainable in the idea of minimal waste and recyclable nature of the garments, it can also potentially eliminate the need for transport and inventory for businesses who can send digital file to a customer who can customize and print their own product from the comfort of their own home. Using the blockchain technology to make sure that the file is not used multiple times. As 3D printing continues to evolve, it is clear that fashion industry is on the cusp of major transformation. The blend of technology, artistry, and sustainability is shaping a future where fashion is limitless as our imagination. If you're interested to find out more, I'm gonna link a few small designers that do a lot of 3D printing in their collections. A very short but sweet video for you regarding the latest technologies in the fashion world let me know if you like this kind of content and you'd like to see more maybe the ideas of what kind of technology or particular aspect of fashion industry you'd like me to talk about next if you'd like to show me a little support that all you need to do is give this video a like maybe leave me a nice little comment and if you're not already please do subscribe if you're new to this channel you can check out some more of my videos but other than that I wish you a happy day and yeah, stay classy. Bye.